Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Today is Tuesday, November 23rd, right? Yes. Yesterday I thought it was the 21st. Today is the 23rd. We have a little gift to give to Daniel and Peter. This box came to Daniel and Peter. Who wants to open it? Yeah. Peter can open it. Love the wall with all the love notes. Let's see what we got in there. This is from Mr. Dual Fuel. That's all I know. Safety glasses. Ah, <laughs> PPE. Let's see the PPE. For the hammer drill. Oh, those look nice. Anything else in there? Oh, there's another one. There's one for you, Daniel. Nice. And is there love notes in here? A gift for you. Thanks for staying late and finishing the amazing Bosch install. Here's a little something to replace those safety squints the next time you have to drill holes. From Daniel, from Little Neck, New York. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Oh, send a thank you note. Oh, for both of you. Extras? Nice yeah. They are pretty nice. Comes with instructions, so you know how to put on glasses. <laughs> First step, unfold. <laughs> Anti-scratch, anti-fogging. <laughs> and, and they extend. I wonder if it'll fog if you have a mask on. That's the million dollar question. Probably. Oh, what's this on the wall? It's oh, Miss December. Fogging. It's Miss December. Wow. The people of Greenberg Supply sent that to us. This is Miss November. I wonder if Miss January is here. Let's see. What? Oh, it's January 21st, but damn, I, I might go back a year for her. Wow. We'll stay with November. Stay tuned for Thursday, November 25th, Turkey Day. Live stream, deep frying turkey. All right, it is 7.45 in the morning, and we are heading to our first service call of the day in Far Rockaway. The customer has a home warranty. Uh, the home warranty is AIG. That is the only home warranty that my company does business with, and primarily because they do pay our full normal retail rate. And it's a good, it's a win-win for everyone. As long as the dollar amount is under 500 bucks for the repair. If it's over 500 bucks, well, you're SOL. And I get paid for my hour and we move on. And it's just a, uh, it's a lose-lose for the, for the homeowner, but if it's under 500 bucks, we're good. Anyway, they've had no heat this season. Today is, Tuesday, November 23rd, and it is 33 degrees right now. We're driving through Back Lawrence. I'm taking the scenic route on our way to Far Rockaway. So maybe I'll take some, some footage as we drive down Secret, or maybe not. We'll see. People walking their dogs. Very nice, very nice. All right, we'll see what's going on and hopefully get them up and running. That's the goal. That's the goal. All right, stay tuned. All right, we're heading to Beach 44th. Right now we're on Beach Channel Drive, just north of the uh, the L, the A-Train L over there. And just give you some footage for all you guys who been been to the, going through the area from Far Rock, Auburn, the Rockaway Peninsula. We got some projects. You know, we have, it's very mixed. We have a lot of newer homes here, attached, multifamily. You know, we have projects overall during the day, pretty peaceful. But it's nice over here in the summertime, especially.
you know? Girls wearing bras and thongs. <laughs> Daisy Dukes. But it's really up and coming, especially in Auburn, up further, Auburn by the sea. You got, you know, million dollar houses. You know, attached houses, multi-family. It's nice. Really nice, really up and coming over here. Revitalization. All right. Let's go see what kind of ship show we're walking into. Okay. We're here for the heat. Ooh. We're here for the heat, the plumbers. Okay, Lee, let me show you Okay. Been about five minutes, yeah. right? It's like 35 degrees outside with wind. Yeah. They've had no heat at all this season. She said, give her a minute. You think that they know we're coming at eight o'clock yeah. in the morning. They think they'd be ready, but about to <laughs> jack up the price. Hi, good morning. Yeah. We're here for the heat. Oh, it's warm in here at least. Yeah. All right, lead the way, man. You know the way. You know the way? You've been here before. You was the one who was here before, right? I think that was my brother. Probably. Yeah, his brother works for us too, I'm sorry. Turn on this, the portable monitor. And here? Okay. Nope, not this door. Got the door. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, it's kind of on. Alright. Electronic ignition. Alright. I got a few leaks here. Everything was cold. Damper is kind of closed. And this thing is toast. Ah. Maybe uh, if you like to, it's going to definitely make the job more harder. <laughs> uh, we are. All right. Oh, that's the portable? Yep, that's the portable. All right. Let's see. Where's the thermostat? Oh, the thermostat's over here. What is this? Let's see the thermostat. Don't worry. Wearing a mask there, buddy. Oh, man. Let's turn this back on. Right, nothing from this control board. Let's see if we have... We have multiple leads coming out of this trance. What does it say? Let's find... There's one here and one there. Let's test the transfer. Power switch is on. I don't got any voltage here coming out of this trip. Oh, <laughs> we're not gonna have any voltage coming out of the transformer because it's not connected. <laughs> Turn that back off. Oh, 38 volts. That's weird. Why so much voltage? Turn it off, back off. Mm -hmm. Let's see what voltage this thing is. All right, it appears that there's two sides of this transformer supplying two 24 volt circuits. So let's turn that back on. And there's nothing there. Yeah, they're all the way in. All right, turn that back off. All right. Something's very funky going on here. 13.9 volts. All right, time to dig a little, dig it. All right, so one side gives me nothing. All right, turn it back off. Right, now let's check the other side. Huh. 
They're not giving us anything. Very weird transformer here. 26 volts. So we're getting 26 volts on one set of reds, and let's see if we have it on the nose. I got this hydro level control. Let me see the box? Yep. All right, hydrostat. It's universal replacement. It's not like the other one, but one thing that I noticed was that the temperature of the aquastat sensor is identical to this one there. So I wired in L1 and L2 to start, and we're gonna see if this thing powers up. Turn that switch on. Okay, let's turn it back off. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm gonna hook up the temperature sensor and see okay. what we get. 59 degrees. So far, so good. All right, now, let's proceed. Turn it back off. Let's start wiring up the rest. Like the circulator, went to C1, C2. And before I do that, I'm just gonna wire in TT. All right, now I have TT hooked up. Let's turn the power on. Okay. And let's see what is on right now. Let's get the voltmeter. Oh, I have it here, don't I? Uh, yeah, hold this. Let's see what kind of voltage we have on B1, B2. Let's just stick that right there. B1, B2, 27 volts. All right, turn the power back off. I'm gonna wire in the burners. B1, B2 are hooked up. Let's turn the power on. Let's see what happens. Get ready to turn the power off. Oh, I said get ready to turn the power off. Uh, <laughs> are you stupid or something? Are you wearing a mask? When's the last time you wore a mask? It's been like four months. <laughs> I heard the word power off. Just get ready to turn it off just in case something pops you. Gotcha. Check this gas valve. Oh, it's on. Ignition. Houston, we have ignition. Would you look at that? Let's let this thing heat up a little bit and see what happens. All right, let's turn it off because we have the damp. We have to deal with the damper. Turn that off. Back on. Damper's hooked up now. We don't want to spill carbon monoxide into the house. Wait for that damper to do something. Oh yeah, look at that. Well, damper still works. Nice. Open, open, open. All right. So now, uh, damper opens. It's gonna be fine. You can leave. You can, don't worry about it. I'm gonna wire in the circulator, but I just want to make sure that my remote aqua sensor or temperature sensor is functional. And it's gonna take a little while for it to heat up, but oh, look at that one up a degree like magic. All this stuff right here that's all leaking because it's cold and it's just messed up. Let's just make sure the relief valve is the right size. All right, and all this other stuff will eventually be fine. And we're gonna be a little over our $500 limit because yeah. I'm gonna say maybe a thousand. <laughs> they made us wait for five minutes outside, right? Yeah, let's see, I'm joking guys. This would normally be an X dollar amount job. There's a reason why I don't talk about pricing 
on the schedule on the channel and that's because this channel has global reach and more importantly 80 percent of the viewers are from the United States. Now, you could be in New York, you could be in LA, you could be in Minnesota, you could be in Florida, you could be in Maine. Every geographic area has different costs of living and different overhead and expenses. So what I charge here in New York may not work in Maine. In Maine, you might think I'm ripping them off. And if I was like in Manhattan, you might, got, you might say, Mikey Pipes, you're not charging enough. Right, so every locale is different, and that's the reason why I don't talk about pricing on this channel. I let it, you know, I already let it be known what my hour, my, my personal hourly rate is, and what the, my team members, my family members' hourly rate is. I'm higher, I'm the president, all right, but so far, so good. Um, grab the Testo 320, mm -hmm. I have that in the truck, I don't have the Voler. Volar, it's actually the, the W is pronounced V. I was oh, really? told. Yeah, um, and I haven't still I haven't mastered that yet. So I've mastered the Testo 320, yeah. and I just want to confirm combustion is safe here before we proceed. All right, I got some drippage on the relief valve there, and I'm gonna have to get creative here. Hopefully, I have a, a small extra on my truck. All yes, right. I have the boiler feed off. I have a hose hooked up to the bottom of the boiler. Um, I'm just gonna isolate that there and this there, right? Because I just want to drain down the boiler, and I'm also gonna replace the auto air vent. All right. Yep, she's airlocked. Okay, good. Now, I'm take out the auto air vent carefully. Good. You put some Teflon tape on that? You know how to do that? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I put that tape measure there. You know why I found the tape measure yesterday? In the three-quarter nipple tray? Really? Yeah. Any idea why it would be there? I... Oh, yeah, that was All right. more than likely. And I'm going to try to take out that expansion tank. All right, I'm going to try to take this expansion tank out. Hopefully I don't get a... Oh, look at that. It was meant to be... It's gonna drop. All right, let's get the new expansion tank ready. Good. Open up that box, come on. All right, I've got an eighth inch Kalefi oil air vent. I have an x troll number 15, hydronic thermal expansion tank. And let's open up that one. Let's open up this one. And let's hook up C1, C2 on the hydro. All right. We have circulator wired, and that's the only thing we didn't test yet so far on this boiler. Something caused that board to die. Let's turn it on, and as soon as we hear that circulator come on, it's on. Okay, let me get the voltmeter. Mm -hmm. Let's do an amperage test and make sure that she's not pulling too much amperage. If she is, we also have a bad circulator. All right, I got the uh, set to that. Good. I heard it come on. Oh, it's on hold. Why is it on hold? All right. Is that 
on yet. It's not on yet. Maybe it's gonna meet, meet temperature first. All right. My circ is running 0.6 amps. Just put that back to one. Okay, 170, that circulator is going to come on. There we go. That should right. be it. C1, C2, 121 volts. Very nice. We are, we're circulating, that's cold. This is hot. I'm just gonna wait for this to come back hot. And then we're done. So I'll set up the test, I'll turn that on. Mm -hmm. Let's do a combustion test. All right, I got my test to 320. The boiler just fired up. 168 degrees. I'm gonna let this heat up for a few minutes. And right before she shuts down, hit that clipboard button. Wait for it to fire back up and, do, and then do draft fairly easy. The probe is up there before the diverter dilutes the stack gases going up the chimney. And that's no bueno. But I shouldn't even look up there. We want to bet up there. Bodies? Dead bodies? Dead animals? Oh, looks like it looks like the place is falling in, collapsing upon itself. <laughs> it sucks. Oh, uh, somewhat decent, not too shabby, 168 degrees, not bad. All right, let this run for a few more minutes, clipboard, and then do drag. All right, we have the combustion test results, there they are, and we successfully were able to Put some lipstick on this pig and she works and she's burning safely that's all that matters i'm like ge i bring good things to life realistically this boy still got some life in her and that upgraded hydrostat while it's not the original one that was there it's the same manufacturer and it works perfectly fine all right now i gotta wait to get paid Talk about priorities, huh? Talk about priorities. Man, place is, uh, place is not fun. Way to get paid. We don't take checks. Cash, debit, credit card, gold bullion, bear bonds, diamonds, Bitcoin, crypto, all that. We need to do anything you need to tell me? Nope. Okay, just turn it on and turn it off. Correct. This type of boiler don't supposed to be drained, right? No, ma'am. Okay, because nope. somebody had drained it. No, no, need, no need to do that. Okay. Just, the, the, the other young guy just, told it, me. No. It was his brother. He's wrong. You no, don't he to, said it don't supposed to be drained. Oh, correct. Yes, he you don't drain this boiler. Me that. The only thing you do is operate the thermostat when you want heat or not. Right, That's right, That's all. Right, okay. All right. Hopefully your husband comes back soon. He, he, just, he just pulled oh, up, okay. so he pulled him around the corner. All right, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. So if you want to, you can meet him out front. Okay. And you have to swipe the car. All right, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see if this guy shows up. Like leaving the house, but she's not vaccinated. We all are. Thank you. Okay. All right, I'm gonna guess that he had to transfer some money into that debit card because I waited for about a good solid five minutes. It's about a good solid five minutes, isn't there, right? Yeah. Peter Pan, you yeah, try to give me a check. Really? Yeah, we don't, don't take no checks. Checks could bounce like a bouncy ball, you know, sky high. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Again, it's a warranty call. My options are limited, and he had an out of pocket expense due to him for the repairs. And he tried to pass pay with a check, and company policy is we don't take checks, we take all the methods. 
but not checks. You know? All right. You guys ready for Thanksgiving? I'm so ready. I'm ready too. I can't wait to deep fry that turkey. It's gonna be epic. And there's only one thing that's more epic than a deep fried turkey. And that's Mikey Pipe's 50,000 subscriber pool party. That's gonna be epic, let me tell you. All right, we're gonna stop by Frank Supplier on the way to the next job. And maybe we'll make this a compilation, maybe not, but I think this video was worthy of how we uh, put some lipstick on this pig, made it work, and made it work safely. All right, guys, be well, God bless, stay safe.